Hey everybody, so I hope you've had a great week or day or whatever it is. Um, forgive me if I turn my back on you or it's not perfectly focused. My intention isn't to be the presenter professional. I'm just going about a few things and chatting along at the same time. So you can see a few videos I've put up recently if you're interested, which are just some experiments with um, the cap iron just to go through different people's opinions and takes on it and whether it's for you or not and I think the main takeaway I would have from from those videos is it may not be something for you you know you might have a bevel up plane or whatever it might be and you, for you it might be thinking well do you know what I really don't fancy it you don't have to use it you can just scrape and sand and, and do whatever you want to do there's no there's no problem with that at all but yeah what i'm going to do is link in the description to this one to the original article that kind of got me set on it and helped me to understand the nuances of it more of how to get the best out of it and i thought it was a very impressive article because what i like is that there's no paywall with it it was just put together by people who were passionate about what they do and they managed to bring it all together and just give you all the information that you need to just experiment a little bit and that's really really good um because there's so much i found these days um i get it people are going to get paid but there's so much stuff that's behind a paywall and i think it's getting a little bit worse um It's difficult because you, you know you need to charge for stuff don't get me wrong and um, it needs to happen but at the same time there's so much stuff that is such a mickey mouse would be a bit brutal a word for it but such straightforward stuff that it seems pretty cruel to um to charge for it um like basic hand tool use and that's again one of the reasons why i like the article that i linked to it's so so informative and you know, I like the fact that those people just leave it up there. It's just, it's really, really good. So what I'm doing in terms of making things at the moment is I have something on the go, but it's not in my home workshop, it's at work. Um, so I finished these little boxes. I'm gonna get those wrapped up for, for Christmas. They're all one gift for one person. Um, and I'm making something to tidy up the hallway. Um, I've got an old, no, old isn't the right, isn't exactly the right word. Um, I don't know other parts of the world might not have had this, but kind of um, pine furniture um, that was made out of all those laminated pine boards where it's like lots of narrow strips and kind of put on some Euro hinges or clip hinges. And it's just chucked in my hallway and it's useful for shoe storage pretty abominable to look at solid enough it probably lasts for a long time but i'm kind of sick of looking at it so i've got some ash that i've managed to reclaim from a, a fit out that we did so it's going to be i'm planning i've got most of it's on the go already it's going to be ash then i want to use some quarter o, uh, quarter sawn oak panels and i want to try and sharpen up the contrast between the two i want to keep the ash as pale as possible and keep the quarter sawn quite dark and try and make that pop a little bit. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'll be doing most of that at work and I'm not gonna take my uh, pathetic camera tripod arrangement into work and film what I'm doing. So when I've gone as far as I can, I'll bring the cabinet home here and at home I'm gonna be making the drawers that go into it and do the finishing stages and I can share a bit of that process. Um, but in between times, um, what I was going to do um, for probably my next video is take a look at the um, Veritas um, side clamping honing guide. Since I've posted it, a few people said they've had problems with it. And um, the only thing I've been able to do initially is to um, take a look at it. And it feels like a, a nicely made item. And I think I like the price as well, it's quite affordable-ish, you know, you can get these for as low as like £5 new or you can pick them up off the eBay second-hand ones for, you know, £10 and less. But this is, this is a much nicer item 
but I'm interested to put it to the test and see whether people's problems with them are the same problems that I would maybe find. Um, you can see here that the wheel's a bit bigger, maybe that limits the control. These ones are quite narrow wheels, so it's easier to tip and to get the bevel lined up, whereas this is trying to hold everything rigid. Maybe that causes a bit of a problem. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, again, one of the other motivations actually, going back to the um, making the cabinet, was um, I kind of put together a bit of a blog. You can see in some of these videos, I'll link to that. Um, is on there, I'm, I'm creating a portfolio, and that's not to be narcissistic about what I'm up to, but it's actually to almost hold myself a bit accountable. Um, it's amazing how the years kind of just fly by and as much as you're interested in all this kind of stuff, time is sometimes limited, so you don't get as much time as you'd like to it. And you think, well, I would like to show what I've actually made because um, I think it's all very well flapping your gums about stuff, but unless you can maybe evidence that you've actually made something, not saying that anybody's opinion is worthless, but unless you're showing stuff that you've made, I don't know, it doesn't carry perhaps the same amount. There's some people out there who don't really show what they make, and I really do trust what they say, but it's, it's more difficult to find those individuals. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to build on that, and it really highlighted to me that I don't want to be making too many more crafty little things like this. There will be some, because it's sometimes a good little thing to infill between a bigger project just to do a couple of fast ones but I've got some needs that there's the shoe storage cabinet I need to make and I could do with having like a maybe a, a bureau full front desk I'm not sure if I'm going to go quite that far but I might um, I need to make a bed for our bedroom but they're all things that I would probably do quite a bit of it at work and then bring some of it home just to be expedient um, so yeah there's there's that um, what else was I going to be doing? Um, yeah, I've got some sharpening stones to take a look at with you. Um, starting to bring some of that together. Um, anything else good or interesting? Not loads. I've got a cheap bandsaw that I've picked up there. Well, the bandsaw probably isn't actually cheap itself. It probably cost reasonable when it was new. But I bought it earlier in the year because it was just at a great price. And I would like to go through you know, setting up a bounce or trying to find one on a good budget. So there'll be plenty of um, plenty of stuff coming through. Um, so yeah, um, there will be draw making, Veritas jig, sharpening stones, all that kind of good stuff. I'm trying to think of anything out there which is new or interesting that I've seen which I could draw your attention to, really. Um, I think that's the thing with woodworking. It's, um, it's not one of those things which is that dynamic, really. You know, quite often a lot of us are interested in styles of furniture which are maybe, you know, well done all the time. They've been made throughout history and that kind of inspires us and we, we keep going with that. Um, the cupboard I'm making is going to be not a historic thing. It's going to be modern-ish, but not like harsh modern. It's going to be made very traditionally, but just with a few different takes on things. Um, yeah, so there's nothing really new happening out there because it's it's woodworking, woodworking. One of the things I had noticed is I used to participate on some of those discussion forums. Um, they seem to have got really quiet, um, which is a shame because there was some good knowledge on those. Um, I think most of us these days have just gone YouTube and social media in general, which is which is fine. And um, yeah, so that's it. That's where I'm at the minute. And um, hopefully a few videos coming up this week. And yeah. Great. Anything interesting or anything you fancy, you know, you want me to take a look at, feel free to stick a, a comment or request. I can't promise I'll do it, but, um, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask, does it? All right, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon.